Hey guys, Airsoft Al here once again, and today, uh, well, this is gonna be an interesting one, because I've had requests, uh, ever since I talked about it in the last gas mask video, and, well, I was a shoulder video, which is gonna be, uh, now a video series when it comes to gas mask. A lot of you actually did give very positive feedback saying, yes, you want to see, uh, well, this, basically. You want to see the Czechoslovakian, or just Czech, which is uh, spelled weird, I know. It's C-Z-E-C-H instead of how you would actually spell Czech, but uh, what can you do? Anyway, this is a Czechoslovakian M10M. This is a, from all accounts I could read. This is, in fact, a military mask. This is basically a copy of, the United, of a U.S. mask. Which, for some reason, we decided to go from the M9 to a cheek filter mask. I don't understand that, but it's one of those things. I have a hate-love relationship for cheek filter mask, which is a video you'll probably see very soon. But either way. So, let's go ahead and get the mask on. I have my various different forms. I skipped the PDW because, honestly, I just got rid of it. Or, not really got rid of it. I just said, you know what, fuck it. Anyway, this is a six-point harness. It is a uh, cheek filter. It is... Dated, huh, can't find a date on here, I'm afraid, or at least I probably can't, just can't off the bat find it, I'm trying to find a date on here, uh, I got a proof stamp, 91, so this mask was made in 1991, so that's, uh, that's interesting, let me look at any other proof stamps. I have one here that says 34, so this could be a production number, meaning this is a 34th production mask. Um, yeah, there's a lot of numbers on here and a lot of things I don't understand. I don't understand the Czech um, organization system. Uh, so if you guys who do understand Czechoslovakian, or at least uh, that area of organization system, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much. So let's go ahead and get the mask on. It's size 2, so it should fit me. Okay, so there is an air leak somewhere, so I gotta tighten this up just a little bit more. There we go. We do now have a uh, <clears throat> we do now have a uh, an air seal now. The only thing I don't like about this mask is the fact of uh, it's just not that good in my opinion. The voice diaphragm, which is right up here, actually is a lot better than the uh, Polish MC1. Then again, this is stark difference from then to now. Uh, either way though. So starting off with something that seems rather appropriate, the M14. SEMA M14 AEG. Let's go ahead and see how it shoulders, shall we? Okay, so, shouldering the front view. Not good. This is... Okay, so I have to go all the way down. But my first instinct is just to do this. Nope. I gotta actually really lean into this sucker. And in doing so, my line of sight right here is off this way. However, because of how big the lens is, I have actually a better field of view than anything else. Alright, going off to the side here now. There we go. Alright. Moving over to the left side. Put up the butt stuff. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to warn you now, it is starting to get a little bit front heavy. Then again, I have all this out in front of me. I am going to explain how this thing feels and how it is. Alright, moving on. We're going out to the AR. The bitch, which is basically just a pink M4. Okay. See how she shoulders. Once again, not so good. I have to immediately fucking just... Yep, okay. No, no, not good. Not good. Yes. Uh-uh, it's not... Mm -mm. Just... Mm -mm. Not good at all. Even with the sight, uh, the biggest issue has to be the cheek filter here because this is just not good. Even with the raised iron sights the way they are, I cannot get a clear picture of <laughs> this thing. I really can't. 
So I'm moving on to the snap rifle now. Here we go, moving on to the bolt action. Now obviously this is meant to be a uh, not frantic combat situation type rifle. It's meant to be a uh, longer distance, everything like that. The scope of course is a large eye relief, so I should be able to see it. But let's see, how does she shoulder? A lot better actually. Although I do have to kind of lay into it a bit, but yeah, I do see the vertical just a bit better. There we go. Again, not a lot of good uh, visibility, but then again, uh, not meant to be long range, it's meant to be thing, but I do see the scope. I can see the reticle. I am actually pretty good. Once again, I had to physically lean into the sucker. It's just... Oh boy, it is not looking good for this, folks. It's really not. Now let's go ahead and grab the pump rifle. Now let's just go ahead and... Oh, once again, nope. Raise sights. The raised sights work better, but... Just, uh-uh. Just, it's not that good. Alright, so. The Skarl. See how the Skarl handles being shouldered. Nope, nope, just nope. A whole lot of nope. Just, just nope. Uh-uh. Now, the Thompson. Spoiler alert, it actually does work, because I did run this mask with the Thompson in my first gas mask challenge video, which I'm going to be doing more of as time comes on, but I can aim down sights with it, I can see sights with it, and because of the way the buttstock is designed, I can immediately just kind of look into it, just barrel, uh, just a little bit, see it just fine, and <laughs> I've got this whole verbal view over here actually really good. Now... Here's the thing. Unlike the P the Polish CM1, where it was restricted right here, I have all this. This is my cutoff area. This is my cutoff area. This is my cutoff area. I can barely see past this. But if I look directly down, which if I do, I hit my chest with this. Inherent problem with the uh, with this design of the gas mask. But even so, I can visibly see a lot more because of how big the lens are. I can see a lot more this way, I can see a lot more this way, I can see so much more. However, this is starting to get heavy. Like, I'm not even joking. This is starting to get heavy on my face. I'm not liking this. It's just... It's not, it's not fun. It's really not good. I'm gonna go ahead and try and... Take this off to the best of my abilities. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't like this mask. Well, certain cheek filter mask I like, uh, but this one in particular, I just... Mm. It's not that I don't like the design of it. A cheek filter mask in, in a on paper, even in practice, is a good idea if done right. This is not done right. And you could clearly see that from some of the uh, shouldering I did. It A lot of times I couldn't get a good uh, lineup of sight. I couldn't get a lot of good anything. The Thompson was the only actual uh, platform I actually had a good one. But then again, the buttstock was lower and that allowed me to get a good line of sight. This is heavy. It's front heavy. It's it's not good. It just it is inherently a bad idea. But I like it because of nostalgic reasons. Because this is designed off of a gas mask that my grandpa used when he was in Vietnam when they were using Agent Orange. This was this gas mask is ba is similar to the ones that my father used. Uh, that my father probably trained with before they switched over to another to the newer gas mask. This gas mask is one that has got me nostalgic because my family members 
used this style of gas mask when they were in the service or are still in the service. But then again, that's my love for it. My hate for it. Do I really have to say anything else? Yeah. I really don't have to say anything else. But then again, there are some people who like cheek filter gas mask, and I'm not one of those people who's going to try and say negative about it. I'm just saying why I love and hate it. It's a hate-love relationship, much like a bad marriage, almost, where you want to leave them, but you can't leave them for some reason or another. That's what, and that's what I kind of see about this mask when, I, when it comes to shouldering a weapon, is it's a love-hate relationship. It's good, but it's bad. People could probably say it better in the comments section, but you know what? That's just how it is. Anyway, uh, this will be the last you see of this in my collection. This is actually being sold. Uh, I am putting this up for sale. Uh, reason I'm putting this up for sale is because uh, times are starting to get to that point where I have to immediately sell stuff out of my collection, or I have to do this and that. It's just... It's gotten to that point now where I have to start selling stuff, I'm afraid. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Owl, and if you're interested in getting this gas mask or a gas mask like it, please do contact me in the comments in uh, through either Discord or Facebook. Uh, but I will make an update video letting you know if this mask has been sold or not and to whom it's being sold to. But yeah. That's how it is, guys. Till next time.